All right, back for part four. So I did a little bit of some grinding, like I said, at the end of part three. And uh, not much, this is not the ideal spot, but let's just go ahead and continue a little bit more. Maybe I could get to a spot that I feel that I could definitely start some grinding on off stream. Because uh, actually, let me just show you the story real quick. Let's see. So, yeah, I am at 8860 for Anima Essence. And it is, oh my goodness, it is it is ridiculous. So I think if I remember, I didn't really look too much into it, but each, um, e uh, each one of those little perks there, they go up to level 20. So if I could find a spot where I can just keep grinding and grinding to like, uh, completely max out my character. That would be great. Yeah, because um, I also ran into a couple of like, uh, let's see, there's another one of those like tall. Let's see, there's another one of those taller like robot guys that remind me of the first boss that's in this area. So I did a little bit of some exploring. I didn't continue too much because of course I wanted to capture it but watch I'll show you in a minute these little tiger guys are are silly but anyways so this fence was locked so I went all the way around I won't show you I went all the way around and I unlocked it so this area is now accessible but this guy looks like he saw me Okay, I was not ready for... Let's see... With the... With that back attachment, or, or I guess, like, side perk that I have... He, uh... Yeah, he does 280. So I can get 280... Uh, 280 uh, Anima Essence from him. So, essentially, my pathing... Off stream... Or off uh, the recording was, uh, just... Going all around, knocking out some of these uh, enemies, but it's not as quick as that beginning area. And the benefit of that beginning area, for sure, was that there's a lot more of the like regular mobs that you can farm. And also, at the same time, you could get a lot more items. So, you could really stock up on these little oil, uh, ordinary oil vials that give you like 20 seconds of, of health regen and you can also drop they'll also drop some of these like lesser spirits so those come in at 250. so you know you just keep going for hours and hours you can stock up on these for an extra 250 on top of the 71 experience until until you get the uh um that small little like um anima essence uh perk that gives you like four extra let's see what's Water going on play. here is something to quench your thirst praise be to god bless you whoever you are take this for your trouble you're vacation your name all right <laughs> so um i wanted to hurry up and get back on on recording another video because I remember when I was grinding out this area and then, you know, of course I saw this little, little what is that? I saw uh, the little text uh, come up. So I was like, man, I, I want to hurry up and continue. But um, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I know there's a guy here. Oh, definitely got to cool down a little bit. So, I don't really remember if I recorded... I, I think I did. But there's this uh, this other robot guy that has uh, those weapons there. His health is definitely up there. Okay, so... Gotta keep an eye on my stamina. Ooh, all right, easy. So I'm essentially a glass cannon. So um, again, like I wouldn't use these videos that I'm that I'm showing on this game as a guide, um, other than recommending just 
grinding out as much as the essence as possible and uh, fit it to uh, like your play style. So I'm currently a glass cannon, meaning that I don't really have any particular armor pieces that I want as of right now. And um, most of my experience points went into power. Was a, oh, okay. And I did get that achievement for um, grinding out the uh, or not well uh, the achievement where you have to do like the the block and attack, the counter attack. There you go. I did that all off recording because I died quite a bit. It's all about the timing. Okay, so there's another one of those guys. The more areas I open up, the better. I would say. So we're just going to do some exploring. I. Why are there so many of these guys? I got greedy. I got real greedy, man. That's what I get. I don't know if I can cheese this guy. Okay. Yep. I was going to say, like, sometimes he does two of those. I thought it was going to be okay. All right. So now, unfortunately, we're going to have to go all the way around and try to get back our stuff. I don't know why I did that. So I am just going to ignore all of these guys for now and chill out a little bit. Okay. I'll ignore these guys for now. I don't want to deal with them. I just really want to get back my essence. Oh, get stuck there. But yes, glass cannon. Okay, so we know that there is potential death if you're not great in that area. Is there anything in here? Besides, uh, besides that robot guy. Okay, well, let's go round two. Oh, where in the... Okay, where did he come from? Oh, I remember in the little graveyard bit. Ugh. Okay, sometimes he'll... Yeah, I was about to say, sometimes he does that, that attack twice. You just gotta take your time man again <laughs> i just like really attacking right away not a big deal what do we got weapon Ooh, another grade or uh okay oh, cast iron nice um oh yeah i did improve my my chain weapon since i figured that this is uh my favorite weapon so far just because of the the range and the illusion of safety that i have um I will go for that. So uh, longevity, ventilation, critical repair. Module allows critical attacks to restore small amounts of health. Um, this is important here, but I kind of want want to live module. Uh, yeah, I haven't upgraded that for I need more keys but I just thought I would just open up um let me mess around with that one all right is there again this is all open territory I just wanted to grind the areas that I was able to show on the last video, 
But now that the area is a lot more open, there are more enemies that I could potentially grind on. I would prefer not to um, fight these guys. I didn't see how much experience of the drop uh, that they were giving, but I think that's the starting area that I unlocked. So, you know, uh, very basic patterns for these guys, uh, for those who are really into those uh, types of soul games, you know, this this is nothing. This is easy mode for you guys from, from my uh, observation. All right, 225. That's 225 with a slight boost of that little module that I have. So we got these little little tiger guys. Oh, apparently they have very sensitive ears, but these guys, uh, thanks to my leveling of the power perk, they go down real quick. Again, that's my play style. You do what you need. You do what you need to do. A fire chain. We're going Castlevania, man. You better believe it. That's... Well, I mean, hey. Let's try it. Oh, I don't know what the heck I was doing. Okay. Well, I guess I can use the health. Okay, so there you go. Just get to this area. Get the fire chain if you want. If you didn't buy the DLC content, then there you go. I think I said that too. I was like, I, it has to be like a chain weapon at some point, but nice. Uh, fire damage to the these little android guys. Um, I mean, they do a lot of damage. Okay, so apparently something hurt me. we'll see maybe i might have made the mistake you know what i think i gotta activate the special for the fire right is that what it is yeah so okay it's interesting not exactly the flame whip from castlevania 2 but you know it definitely uh i got excited but we'll try it with the flame whip since I have so many. Uh, it was 650 right there with the. Uh... Oh, he's currently like. I know he wants to attack because he's aggroed because the health bar came up. Oh, camera. All right. Uh, facing these two guys. Okay. Noted. Noted. All right, gotta calm down, gotta calm down. Ooh, you son of a gun. One attack. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play this as safe as I can. Woo! Wow! And I think I got that health boost, right? Why is he only shooting? I swear, some, sometimes the AI really... It's something. Nice. What do we got here? Nice. Lesser Spirit. Let's get that 250. So... I think you need those for maybe some sort of upgrade down the field. Because I know, like, you can buy them. 
Oh, thank Christ. So, I could save, but again, once I do that, um, these guys come back. And I guarantee I got lucky with that first... Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can... These things, like, uh, the, the hit detection really, really works when it wants to. I don't think it's going to matter. Okay. Um, it's neat. So, I would definitely play until you get that flame whip, for sure. So I'll definitely keep that in, in my back pocket. That's a, that's a new one. You see that? What does that do? I know it's going to be uh, Anima Essence. 500. Nice. So we can get to a spot that, and grind out those. It's all over. Like, let me tell you, like... Okay, still, still running around. Not a big deal. Keeping an eye on the recording here. We're at 17 so far. Can I open up this chest? Sure can't. Is there anything else that I might be missing? close okay so with this um with these uh with these ingots and stuff like that the metals that you get you could use that to upgrade your weapon so i could increase uh uh turn this chain into level two what was i using anyways oh i was already using this cap So it looks like I just got, like, the pants for it. Okay, endurance really does go up. Uh, minus five for frost resistance and a little bit for my balance. Um, but the armor goes up. There's a hit for the loot multiplier. Um, yeah, you almost just... Hit, you just gotta pick your poison, man. But I think it was the pants that I got. Up five. Endurance goes five. Um really just like tanks the by a little bit the loot multiplier you just gotta mix and match man like that's essentially like what it is yeah i'll worry about that at some point um i have no idea what is good what is bad it's just like what do you want to sacrifice or compensate for so you definitely gotta like put on clothes to maybe break even that's all i'm saying but speaking about that, I don't... Wait, can I come back here? I might be able to, right? Yeah. What I should do is, you know, go save. But again, they all come back. So maybe we can get to another spot. Um, I have no idea... How long I'll keep going. Like if I just go to point to point. I'm not really too sure. I have no idea how long this game is. So that's another thing to, to keep in mind. That's interesting, though. Okay. Yeah, just as long as I can open up this area, then... Oh! Spider sense. What do we got? Lesser spirit. Yeah, homeboy's just gonna... Disabled. Or, <laughs> just block. 
Okay, so somehow I'm gonna have to like, go all the way around and open that, but looks like there's more of those tiger things. Yep, I will take care of those over here. I forgot they don't drop anything. That's another disappointment with those enemy types. They don't drop anything. Oh, that I was going to do his like sweep attack. But again, like with uh, my power increased, I can definitely like knock out those guys quite, quite easier now. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, might be a quest item, but we will try to get all this other stuff before I continue. There's a lot of dudes over there, I think. Yeah, so where I'm currently facing, that takes me to the opening area. If I, if I recall, uh, it should be like a tiger robot there as well. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, I completely whiffed that away. Yeah, you can farm like those uh, achemical, alchemical uh, little charges with those guys and also like flame grenades. Alright, Lester Spirit. I was hoping if I can go around and, uh... Where's that dead guy? There he is. A Valiant Spirit. Nice. Alright, so we'll definitely be pocketing those for right now. Right, what happens if I try to stealth kill this one? Okay, nice. Yeah, you definitely want to go for the stealth kills. Oh, if you if you can. Alright, took the hit. Ooh, nice, nice stun. Nice stun again. Keep an eye on the endurance. Okay, so that that's a new or I don't know. He just has a new weapon. All right, definitely just want to keep an eye out. I don't want to progress the story because I know I didn't get that pickup over there. And this looks like a tool. Okay. Yeah, that is all right. Cool. This is the opening area. Take it easy, take it easy. Nice. Speaking of flame grenades, so I haven't been using any of those little, like, uh, those item drops just yet. I seem to be in favor of just, like, storing them for, uh, you know, potential bosses. I, I, You can buy them in the store. So I, I want to say that once you reach a point where you're like, okay, well, I just, I got everything where it needs to be. I bought all the store weapons and stuff like that. Like there's nothing else, you know, then I'd probably lean more towards buying stuff in the little boutique, but let's just open this. Nice. So now we got that area, more, more people or not people, but you know, more, uh, more of these little robots for me to destroy. I'm pretty pumped about that. More grinding opportunities, but again, there's a lot of these like heavier boss types that um not a huge fan on fighting one to one. Because, you know, as you can see, glass cannon. Especially with the uh the chain ones. But let's just pick this up. Alright, let's do a little bit more exploring. 
I know, yeah, I was about to say, like, I know that there's this area here. But how do I get inside? Yeah, we'll do that, and then uh, for part five, then I'll probably lean more. Oh, there's something in here, too. But I don't think I can cheese my way in here. It's like an invisible wall. All right, never mind. I was, I got excited for a minute. I was like, "Oop, there you go." Okay, I get it. So I want to say that we have to continue a little bit further down. Yeah, because this is just going to take me to the dead man here with the valiant spirit essence. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just jumping around like an like an ass. Oh, he had something. Messia. Nice. Alright, again, combing over the areas that we've probably already been, but you know, you never know. New weapons and stuff. I'm pretty pumped about oh, okay, so it looks like I'll have to figure out how to get that tool. I'm not sure what it is. But we'll get it eventually. But uh, yeah, we'll just give it a little bit more time. Oh, he has a flame axe. Nice. Oof. At least that one was. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Uh oh, <laughs> something else activated. Nice. Flame grenades, like I was telling you. New weapon, tool. Again, I need the keys to upgrade that, so. I know I was able to buy the one set of keys, but hopefully uh, at the next boutique spot, probably do the same. So, okay, let's just do a little bit of some, uh, another Jacques. What do we got here? Blocked. So I got to open that up at some point. <clears throat> Well, I didn't mean to use the oil, but I should probably just switch to that. Okay, so it looks like if I want to continue over there, I got to get that tool to break the door or the wall. And I know there's like some other inaccessible areas until I get whatever said tool is. But that's definitely the starting area, and I will be ending over there pretty soon. Um, but let's just go for, you know, a little bit, just a little bit more. All right, just got to chill for a little bit. You can definitely tell that the, this game is really growing on me. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so yeah, this is the way to get out. But um, I'll probably hold off and grind a little bit more and I think I'm just going in circles. Uh, I'm probably going to hold off and grind a little bit more. And then I would say for part five. Part five, I would say that um, we'll go over that wall and continue with the story and stuff like that. So at this point in time, I still, I mean, I'm really liking the game. It's, it's, uh, it's a... Uh, I'm not going to insult it at all whatsoever, but again, like I think I saw somewhere, even maybe in the, like in the description or someone commented that it's very like souls like, and I would say that I, yes, from what I've seen, but this is much more of a much more manageable to, to my opinion. But anyways, um, but yeah, no, that's going to be it for part four. 
I'm having fun, guys. But again, if you can find this on sale and or if it comes to Game Pass, it's worth it's worth it, I would say. It really is. But anyways, until next time, you take care of yourselves. And I'm going to do some more grinding here in a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that uh, maybe like at least three levels I can grind up to. But again, let me tell you, man, <laughs> it, it takes a while. But anyways, you take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one. Godspeed.